guys, welcome to another video of Always Something Garage. As you can see, I'm not in the garage making videos. I'm actually in my house. Um, so with the COVID-19 um, time right now, our family had a couple uh, different events happen and uh, people tested positive. Um, so with me living with my parents still, we were kind of uh, just playing it safe, keeping our, our distance together so we didn't spread it to each other. Um, so uh, thank God we were nobody had it within... Um, you know our house which was good um, but for the past few weeks we've I've been kind of playing it safe because I didn't want to spread it to them so um, in the beginning of the video me and my dad started making videos and working on the truck together and by the the middle of the video all the work and video was done by my dad and I really appreciate all the time and effort uh, putting into this truck and it's it's pretty cool so and then by the end of the video you'll see me back into helping him film and working on the truck so I hope you guys stay safe out there. Make sure you guys hit the like button. See ya. Well, here we are on the driver's side rocker panel. As you guys remember from the first video, the uh, this rocker was worse than the other side. The cab mount was actually collapsed, um, probably an inch and a half, two inches down. So this side, we definitely, uh, once we started digging into it, found it was worse. Um, but we learned some lessons from the last one. So if you remember the transition here from this rocker to this size here, we were able to save on the other side. We had to make this one. And then this whole rocker is full rocker all the way down to where uh, the actual body mount goes across. So we're on the driver's side now. And as you can see, we have um, the driver's side floor that had just a little uh, rust uh, rust hole there so we uh, replaced that and uh, put a little panel in so we have that welded in right now also you can see the holes ready for uh, the spot welds for the bottom mount so we'll take a look under the driver's side floor here and as you see from the first video um, I mean the passenger side floor was definitely a lot worse than this one so um, like I showed in the, the one little video snip uh, there's just that was that little bit of hole patch that we had to do so we have the doubler in here and then we had to put that little brace in there um, just keep the, uh, the strength within the floor all right here's the driver's side cab mount and again like the passenger side we had to mod modify it so this whole lip here the contour was not correct so i sliced it uh, and kind of bent it up and made it work re-welded it had to put a new tab on here these two new tabs this bottom um, is new you see the holes ready for the spot welds also when I bought these they came with the, uh, the nuts for the body mounts but they didn't have these retainers so I had to weld in some plate in there to help hold that when you tighten up the uh, bolt for the body mount or else that square it was the uh, incorrect size spins around in there so uh pretty much like the factory but she fits now we're gonna get her up in there and finish that off all right so we talked about replacing this uh driver's side cab corner as you can see it's it's pretty rusted again passenger side was really good condition um just just weird how the the driver's side's a lot a lot worse in the rust area so um, purchased this uh, nice cab corner for the uh, quad cab but the only issue is I'm not gonna replace this just yet I think we're gonna finish up the rockers get it going it's it's cold here in the mid-Atlantic uh, right now and I can't do any bondo or body work so um, I also need to remove this bed to put this cab corner in so the plan is once we get ready to paint and we're going to get the truck prepped i'm going to pull the bed off we'll do this cab corner that'll be the last rust repair that i do uh, we'll prime it sand it get it ready for paint and that'll be the end of it all right here we go we're on the uh, driver's side now something we didn't show in the last video as we skipped through but was the uh, modification we had to do to the rocker panel that we had bought the, the patch panel uh, it has a great shape 
kind of matches the contour of the rocker panel, but it's missing a lot of things. Uh, and it's not bent correctly. One of the things is the actual flange here does not match up with the pinch joint of the door. So I'm going to cut it off at this line right here. You remember in the other video we uh, basically cut the rocker off with the spot welds and then pulled the rocker off there. Well, you didn't see it, but in the other video I had to end up making an additional piece. So now I left the factory uh, pinch weld in and just cut it short. Uh, the other thing it's missing, which is a big issue, is right here, when you open the second door, the back door, there's a dent indentation here, a recess for the door front corner to miss. If you do not put that in and you go to open the door, you're going to bend the corner of your door or put a dent in there, which the corner of your door is going to bend before that. Um, so yeah, that was two major things. The other major is underneath, is right here, is this obviously is not on the patch panel. So make up a, a piece, weld that in, grind it flush. Um, we'll have to make that look more factory. Well, we got this uh, patched up in there. fit on got our uh, notch marked out I'll do that once the rocker is welded on so I don't lose uh, and bend the heck out of it yeah that's it Pull it off, weld and grind and finish that off, put it back, tack it back up, weld it out, and then uh, we'll put that, uh, that piece in, we're good. Okay, got it tacked up here, got my uh, spot weld holes drilled in there. going to now uh, just go ahead and weld this out and when I'm done with the welding we'll cut that notch out for the door once it's welded together. <laughs> Uh, inner rocker coating so you saw the the inner rocker panel we had Caleb he painted with a rust encapsulator before we put the outer rocker panel on but of course we had welding some additional metal work we did that notch for the uh, rear door and uh, just of course all the welding to actually weld the rocker so um, that I'm assuming is burn away less to the exposed so we're going to take and we're going to try some of this Eastwood internal frame coating heard some good stuff about it comes with the uh, 
the extension tube. We're going to give that a shot. We're going to put that in those rocker, inner rocker panel holes, the factory plug uh, body holes, and shoot it in there and coat the inside of that so at least uh, we'll help from rusting from the inside out. We'll see how that goes here. drop cloth underneath anything you're using with this uh, Eastwood uh, internal frame coating. <laughs> Glad I had that drop cloth down. It is definitely thinner than I thought. So it's dripping out the pinch weld and the drains, which is great. So that means it's getting, getting into that pinch weld where you really want it. But yeah. Uh, did not expect. I was trying to wipe the lift off. It was getting all over the lift. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you have drop cloth. So I was curious to see what this, you can see it dripping out, is what does this spray nozzle do? Because I didn't do it while it was out of the rocker, of course, but let's see what it does. Wow. So you can see that. So that's all I did was I ran it up the rocker and I ran it a little bit more than that. And I'm wondering if you can see that. It coated that box fully coated inside and dripping out the bottom. So it finds all the nooks and crannies, and that's great. Well, we got the driver's side completed. We got some uh, Eastwood Rust Encapsulator on everything. Turned out pretty good. Anything I didn't like, it got sucked in when I welded that seam there, but a little body filler will get that. But here's the notch for the door we had to make. Again, this transition <clears throat> that was not in there originally. It looks pretty straight. <clears throat> yeah. Driver's side, I think, is a little, a little worse than the uh, passenger side. I'll take you to the passenger side here. Well, here's the passenger side. We had never looked at the finished product, but as you can see, you know, this cab corner was still good, so I was able to go up to the factory seam there. It's got rust encapsulator on it, again, just to protect the metal until I can do some body work. There's the notch for the door that we talked about that you must have or else your door, <laughs> you're either gonna dent that rocker or you're gonna bend the corner of your door over. There's that transition piece we had to make. Your cab mount. You can see the body line's not bad. It matches up pretty good. So here's underneath. The inner rocker we made. There's some of the holes for the body plugs. So the next thing I'm going to do, um, some more holes. Oh, by the way, I had the notch in for the rocker drains. Of course, the, the old, the new rocker didn't come with them, so basically sliced them and welded in, bent them back so that you can get water to drain out bottom here. Front, there's your new cab mount. But I'm going to use that Eastwood uh, 
system for the inner rocker for coating it. And also we're going to today is the seam seal. Get all this seam sealed up. seam line so no, no water can get back into the, the rock because we had that same issue. So we have a nice seam here down here. Started with uh, painting this truck. So, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe.